Hello, my name is Jerfi Szilard, the owner of BlueFX.net. Thank you for downloading my first free template. All my templates work in Adobe After Effects CS4, so in case you have CS4, you can use that too. I prefer to make my templates in uh, After Effects CS3 projects because uh, more people can use it this way. Let's see how this template is built and how it works. You see in the project panel you have 00 main, this is the main composition, I have it open here. Then you can see some other folders. In this folder are all the stuff, all everything that you will need to change. Open this folder, like this, and here you will see the four sides of the box and the top of it. When you want to change the one of the sides, you just double click here at video 1 and you drag in a video here. For example, I will drag in this boat's video. Okay, I drag it in here, in the project panel. And uh, put it in. Like this. Now I am working at quarter resolution, you can put it back to full if you want to. You can resize it if you need to. I have set the composition to NTSC DV resolution. Okay. You can also drag in a picture if you want to, it works just like a video. You do the same thing for all the other faces of the box. So video 1, video 2 can drag in here another video, video 4, and so on. Now let's go back to the main composition. Let's put it back to full to see how things look. You can see that on full resolution it does take some time to render a frame. So I recommend you put it back to quarter when you work. Only use full resolution on the fine adjustments. Let's see how you can change the text. This text is, is called Bifurk. It's a free font, but you will need to install it first to use it. Just Google Bifurk and go to the first link. Like, and just click here and you can download it. After you have downloaded this, uh, this font, so you will need to install the fonts first. Just go to your local C drive where you have Windows installed, go to Windows, select the fonts folder, open it, and uh, after you have um, unzipped the Bifork font, drop it in here and it will be installed. Here you have the three texts the, that, that will uh, appear. You will need to edit these these three layers. This is text 1, text 2 and text 3. Another thing that I need to tell you is that I used a plugin on this. It's trap code star glow. So in order to have this nice glow around the edges and on the text, you will need to install it. If you don't have trap code star glow, the composition will still work, but that nice star glow effect won't be available. Now, how can you change the text? Just select the layer that you will want to change, let's say the first text, double click on it and edit the text. So let's say first text, okay. You shouldn't use the scale, you shouldn't scale the text. When you want to make it, if you want to make it smaller, then use use the settings here. Select the text layer, and uh, just make it larger, shorter, however you want need it. Now you can individually select parts of the text. If you if you select it like this, and let's say I want this part to be smaller, and on the the text word to be slightly larger. Okay, 
you can do it here but don't use the scale parameter because it has uh, some keyframes and you will mess up the animation now if you would like to make the text this gap to be shorter just edit here okay if you want to make the text be little more down you can edit you can also edit it from here or from from the position because uh, the position has no keyframes so you can do the same thing to this this text and the second one and the third one too you can also also change the font in case you don't like this font just go here select the text and change the font to whatever fits your needs and taste go back to quarter resolution if you want to preview the movement the motion okay so let's preview this part great when you come to the last part you see I added this text blue effects template you can edit that from from the I remember it's side, second side. So uh, let's hide this. Okay, now this is the video layer that you will use from the second video here. This one. Now, if you don't want want this text to fade in, and I'm sure you don't want it just just turn it off turn the layers off this one this white solid is the margin this white so if you don't want this blue effects template text on your video and i'm sure you don't want it <laughs> then just uh, turn off the text and or maybe change the text here the same thing double click change text or turn it off completely and turn up the white layer underneath it so this white layer don't turn up this white layer because these are the margins of the box let's go back to main you can render now go here to composition make movie I recommend you use QuickTime and photo JPEG Okay, select audio oh, if you have audio or stretch the video to the size that you need to what well, that you want it also I want to mention that the audio that you can hear on this track is uh, not copyright free so I am not able to send it to you but uh, the other templates that you you see on my store page have sounds have music that were composed by uh, that were composed by a good friend of mine for example this video has an awesome soundtrack the rest of the videos will have audio as you can see audio included but the spinbox free template doesn't come with audio so thank you for your patience and time hope you like this template if you want to, you can check out my other templates. Send me any comments, any uh, ideas that you have, things that you like, things that you don't like, things that you would like to have in your template or possibly in a tutorial. Hope to see you soon.